the so normally they will be asking you so normally we will be determining the power developed by the turbine and uh, the blade efficiency of the turbine since we are going to use geometrical method to solve the problem so this blade efficiency is also called as diagram efficiency so this diagram efficiency is nothing but the output power from the turbine divided by input uh, energy of the fluid that is entering the turbine so the output power developed or the power developed by the turbine is as mu cy1 plus cy2 this for a simple impulse turbine and the uh, input energy is nothing but the jet of steam that is striking the blades of the turbine which is possessing kinetic energy that is half m c1 square so this if you simplify you will get 2u cy1 plus cy2 divided by c1 square so to solve this problem as i told you we are going to follow geometrical um, method so in the geometrical method we are going to construct both inlet and outlet velocity triangle together to start with uh, to draw the inlet velocity triangle normally they will be giving uh, these three physical parameters related to the turbine will be provided alpha 1 is the nozzle angle and u1 is the blade velocity and c1 is the inlet velocity of the steam or the fluid that is striking the blades of the turbine so these three parameters will be given based on these three parameters we can construct the inlet velocity triangle for the first stage of the turbine so inlet velocity triangle we are going to construct using these three parameter that is u1 c1 and alpha 1 so for drawing this inlet velocity triangle we have to assume suitable scale let us say if they specify the velocity as uh, 600 meter per second then uh, this blade velocity is 600 meter per second then we can assume a suitable uh, scale of 1 is to 100 if you assume 1 is to 100 then this 600 meter per second of velocity can be made as 6 cm so to start with initially draw this u uh, draw a horizontal line which represent uh, u and uh, for drawing this uh, as i told you we have to consider a scale Uh, if you have considered 1 is to 100 or 1 is to 50 scale, then suitable centimeter you can draw a horizontal line. So this horizontal line represents the blade velocity. Then we have to draw a line from here, and which makes an angle of alpha 1. Alpha 1 is the nozzle angle. So corresponding to nozzle angle, let us say if the specified nozzle angle of 20 degree or 25 or 30 degree will be specified in the problem. So corresponding to that angle, you draw a line. You draw a straight line. Uh, with reference to this uh, nozzle angle and this straight line uh, represents the inlet velocity of the fluid and uh, if the inlet velocity if it is given as 200 meter per second uh, or 1600 meter per second then if you assume 1 is 200 then this will represent 12 cm so u you have drawn already corresponding to alpha 1 we have drawn c1 also this is the inlet velocity of the steam which strikes the blades of the turbine by drawing these two if you join this then it forms the inlet velocity triangle so you have the three sides of the triangle one side of the triangle is represented by the blade velocity and the other side is represented by the inlet velocity of the steam and if you join this you will get the relative velocity of the steam at the inlet so this represents the inlet velocity triangle and uh, this uh, inlet uh, steam velocity this we can resolve both horizontally and vertically if you resolve horizontally and vertically the horizontal uh, if you resolve horizontally then that will provide you the tangential component of the inlet fluid velocity that is represented as cy1 when you resolve this um, vertically then you will get the axial flow velocity cx1 so this c1 we have resolved both horizontally and vertically vertical represents tangential component horizontal represents the axial component so now with this the inlet velocity triangle is complete so to start with the outlet velocity triangle normally they will be specifying the blade velocity coefficient this blade velocity coefficient is the ratio of the outlet relative velocity to the inlet relative velocity so this if you measure and whatever dimension or length that you are having that if you convert using scale that will represent the inlet relative velocity and in the problem normally they will specify the blade velocity coefficient if you multiply this blade velocity coefficient by the inlet relative velocity you will get the outlet relative velocity outer relative velocity will start drawing from here and this makes an angle of beta 1 this beta 1 is the inlet blade angle which will be given in the problem so from the value given in the problem you can draw w2 because this uh, beta 1 value is known and the blade velocity coefficient k is known so you can calculate the value of w2 
so w2 and beta1 are known so we can draw a line like this so now u is constant i have told you for the outer velocity triangle and inlet velocity triangle the blade velocity is same and the relative velocity is known and blade velocity is known if you join this you will get the outer blade velocity outer fluid velocity so c2 is the outer fluid velocity this is blade velocity this is the relative velocity and uh, this c2 also we can resolve both vertically and horizontally if we resolve um, vertically then it represents the outlet axial velocity and uh, horizontally if you resolve then it represents the tangential uh, velocity of the fluid so now this provides you the complete inlet and outlet velocity triangles